Hello and welcome back to 34 diagrams drawn for you in 34 days and we have made it to the 34th video. We are looking at the negative externalities of consumption. For our example, we're going to take a European perspective. We're going to think about free healthcare at the point of use. So costs, benefits and quantities. We're going to try and think of an example of a good that has a negative externality, so a cost to a third party because of the consumption of it. So the example I can think of is what we call high sugar, salt, fatty foods. The increased consumption of high salt, sugar, and fatty foods increases the risk of cardiovascular problems. If we have an increased rate of cardiovascular problems over an entire population, that's going to increase the strain on the health service. So how do we show this with a diagram? We're going to draw demand going down, but we're not going to call it demand. What do we call it? Marginal private benefits. We're going to draw supply to the sky, but we're not going to call it supply. We're going to call it marginal private costs. Now, if we were consuming food in a sterile environment where there were no costs or benefits to any other person, we might consume at the QFM, the free market quantity. However, when there is a cost to a third party because of our choices, that means that the benefit for society is lower than the private benefit. So we're going to draw our marginal social benefit down here. And we're gonna assume that there is no negative externalities for the production of crisps, chocolate, takeaways. So marginal social cost. So we know that the socially optimal quantity is where the social cost equals the social benefit, the QSO. And so at the free market quantity, we can see there is this divergence between the social benefit and the private benefit. That is the externality to the third party. And so this area represents the dead weight loss. So A, B, C is our dead weight loss. And we might think that the government would intervene in this market failure because there's a misallocation of resources. They're going to try and reduce the consumption. And so they might tax it. They might remove any subsidies if there are any, such as on corn syrup. They will do this for the benefit of people's health, but also to alleviate the pressure on these third parties. Well done for making it to the 34th video. Hopefully it's helped you. If you want to do some more economics on the YouTube channel, I've gone through different free response questions helping you through it. So have a go yourselves and then watch the video. Well done. Thank you.